plays games with Steve and Angel. Emma's recollection. Let's find out about what really happened in that crazy night. When I, when I saw that man <laughs> raise his, his knife, big I scary panicked. knife, I panicked and I rushed from them <laughs> towards both of them. I think I I knocked away the man with the knife. Just then there was another. I don't know how the song actually goes. Yeah. Just then there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. Oh, what? Uh, this is certainly most unusual and terrifying. Objection! Try impossible. The head detective of criminal affairs didn't even design him until this year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Yes, well, the, the defense may now begin its cross examine it. Hold it! Hold it! Stop! Please! Don't pursue this any further! Uh, Mana! What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Chief Prosecutor Sky. Huh? We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Silence! The defense will now begin its cross-examination. Bailiff... Please detain the defendant. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. I saw my man raise his knife. I panicked and rushed towards both of them. Hold it! Why would you do something so dangerous? What else could I have done? He was about to stab Mr. Marshall. She seems convinced that Dark was the one holding the knife. But as we've just theorized, Mr. Marshall was the one holding the knife. I am also psychic. Mm. You can all read your mind. Well, mm. I didn't know that at the time. Right, you just talk out loud all the time. <laughs> Everyone's so mean to me. <laughs> was that Nick in the shower? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's so mean to me. <laughs> so mean. When the uh, when the dark guy knocked me down, all I could think was, I've got to help Mr. Marshall. I think I I knocked away the man with the knife. Hold it. What do you mean you think? It it all happened so fast, and I was in shock. I don't remember everything clearly. What I did, it's all kind of a blur. In a matter of just a few seconds, Miss Skye was almost killed. Then she witnessed a murder about to take place. A little disorientation is only natural. I saw the man about to stab the other person, but I thought it was Mr. Marshall. I knew I had to stop the man with the knife. What you did was very brave, young girl. So then, what happened next? Just then, there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the blue badger. Hold it! Are you sure about this? Of course. See? I even drew a picture of him here. But the head detective of criminal affairs thought of this hideous beast. And that was just this year. The blue badger didn't exist two years ago. This is all quite verifiable. Now it sounds strange. I was surprised, too, when I saw him at the police department. I had this nagging feeling that I'd seen him before somewhere. So is he actually supposed to be, like, a badger, or is he, like, the police badge? Oh, and yeah, I was just gonna say, I think it's like a play off of the word badge, you know? Yeah, I guess. But it, really, it does look like a badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. I don't, it doesn't really but, read but as, it, like... It doesn't look like a badger. Or, yeah, there's not even, like, a little nose. It's a anything. monster is what it is. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> quite look like a badger, 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 badger. What is that from? You don't know Badger Badger Mushroom Mushroom? It's an old flash tune. Oh no. Snake in the desert. Anyway. I I played CartoonNetwork.com and Nick.com and uh, I, um, we that did too. Yeah. So that's all I had. Yeah. Now I finally remember Nick.com in orbits. 
Oh, oh, don't get us started. Oh, we talked about Cartoon Orbit on this show. Oh, oh yeah. We, maybe on this show. Have we talked about it anyway? Oh, brother. Just when you thought that thing that thing had caused enough that Cartoon commotion. Orbit had caused enough for commotion. It's going to derail them for another 10 minutes. <laughs> Tell us, where in the room did you see him dancing? Dancing? He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. Hold it! His shadow? So you mean you didn't actually see his face with its winning smile and all? That's right, but I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. Objection! This is pointless. That thing couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. The witness must be mistaken. Objection! That may well be. But what's important is what caused her to think she saw what she did. Oh, and I suppose you have an explanation? If so, then by all means, please tell us what this shadow really was. What was it Emma saw when that lightning flashed? Who is this blue badger really? Um, I just might know, even though I'm not 100%. The blue badger hadn't even been dreamed up when, when Emma drew this picture. Yet she's certain she saw its shadow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the defense's belief that on that fateful day two years ago, there is indeed there indeed was something that looks similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Mr. Wright? In this room, very well, Mr. Wright. What is it that the witness saw in that instant? Please show us this mystery. This is really bad. Um, I want to look at this real close, real quick. Sure. Um, oh, can I? I can move it. No. Oh, I didn't even know there's something under here. Is that just the, uh... King of Prosecutors. The names of past recipients are etched on the plate. And for Von Karma's name appears here, too. How ironic. <laughs> ironic. <laughs> He's a piece of shit. Oh, wait, that's like a... Where we got out of control this? I thought maybe if I flip this around, it would look like it from a different... You know, I like oh. that logic, but maybe try something else. Do, 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 do. It was a cell phone. Seen from above. Um, it's aluminum. It was. It was a glove. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, wait a minute, night and day you wait a minute. It's the jar, take an angle, look at it, how does it look? Oh, uh, uh, this? I think, right? Oh, hold on. I wish I could. Ugh. Well, why don't you present it first anyway? Okay, okay, there we go. There it is, all right. Um, presento. Take that! The mysterious blue badger was in fact this! But that's... Uh, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. But Mr. Wright, that doesn't look anything like the blue badger. Indeed it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Our viewpoint? I've got to show them the correct angle to look at this from. Oh, God. Turn the jar so it looks correct. Turn the fucking jar. It's a big jar that kind of looks like Blue Badger. Maybe not like that, although I see how you would think it is that. Try another way. It has to look... Oh, you almost had it. Hey, that looks pretty good. Just maybe angle it so it's more facing forward and make sure it's relatively symmetrical. Hey, that looks pretty good. Try that. I think that 
is the perfect shot. Take that! Take that. <laughs> what a musical. Yeah. Well, is this a miracle or what? Oh. No one could possibly deny this jar's resemblance to the blue badger. It's me. No. <laughs> it can't be. It is, Miles. It's always me. Order, order! The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witnessed on the day of the crime was actually this. Objection! Although we all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance and song pretty good, one question <laughs> remains. What's your point? What do you mean? So that badger thing was actually just a jar. That doesn't change anything. Objection! I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see, this changes everything. Indeed, very well then. Please tell us, what's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? The Moita weapon. Allow me to take these in turn. At the moment of the murder, the witness saw this jar. Not only that, but she saw it at a very specific angle. Knowing this, where could she have seen this jar? Where? The location of the jar is shown in the picture taken on the day of the crime. It's on a shelf in the office of Damon Gant. Objection! But the body was found lying near Lana Skye's desk. The witness testified so herself. Objection! Yes, and it, and it is these two facts that reveal what actually transpired. You see, the struggle between Dark and Marshall did not take place in Lana Skye's office. It happened on the other side of the room, in Chief Gant's office. OBJECTION! Are you implying the murderer moved the victim's body? From Damon Gant's office to Lana Skye's office? Yes. Why would he do that? There's no reason. How can you read this? There's no pictures. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hmm? If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. Do you know what that reason was, Mr. Wright? I finally figured it out. So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. It's too late to quit now, though. Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. Next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent the jar flying? That would have to have been the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall? Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to this picture once more. The man was knocked in the direction of the shelf the jar was sitting on. What would he have hit? Ah, uh, uh, the suit of armor holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword. Oh. Yes. And since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he'd have had to have been Neil Marshall wielding the prosecutor's award. No, Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. Yes, there is another possibility of what actually transpired in that room. Another possibility? Of course, the perpetrator would have no I have had no idea, but nevertheless... I... I don't know if I could go through with this. Mr. Wright, what's the matter? If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil, Neil Marshall, Oh. You mean... Mr. Marshall died because of me? 
No! Oh, shit. I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So it was the witness who took the victim's life, and then proved so with her own testimony. This is unprecedented. Objection! What? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Skye, but given the circumstances... Joe Dark murdered Prosecutor Marshall! How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? Imagine that coming from you. Huh? If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out about what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you hope to have anyone believe in your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to. Um, I, I'm afraid you're going to have. To, uh, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. <clears throat> Tell me, do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? Uh, 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 oh, uh, evidence. I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, it certainly would be difficult to prove this with evidence. If we don't have evidence, then we'll have to rely on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. <sighs> certainly can't get dead people to testify. It's all been a wild goose chase from the beginning. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Hmm. Touche, Miss Sky. Although it was missing the symbol, so touche. Of course, that only leaves us with one possibility. Uh huh? You mean there's still another possibility? What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I mean the possibility that the victim has left us a message. For better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. Somehow. That's... that's impossible. Well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. A message from the deceased. Does such a message exist? Got to think back to the court record. The real murder is a name that uh that the victim may have left behind. Um, it's there. It's in the evidence. This message from the deceased. It's already in our possession. Is in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister a murderer? Tisk tisk tisk. Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. Huh. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek. The truth. No matter how painful it may be. Now then, Mr. Wright, please show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceased. A massage from the deceased. SL9. That's an entirely different case. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. To be fair, there are like three there are yeah, like three I cases. I'm like, wow, they did no. not really kind of like condense some of this. Yeah. I don't think it's she drew that. There's hold on. Uh do 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 the uh print oh wait uh, is it just like a random claw no i think um you might you might be forgetting something so maybe look through, look through some of your other stuff okay do 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 k for kema <laughs> um <laughs> the hell is kema i don't know there's well no that's probably just the blood spatter splatter uh they, they didn't write on it it's just blood yeah you uh, think blood spills in that specific pattern mm. 
Oh, can I combine things? Well, no, but go ahead and present this for now. Okay. Take that. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, take that. This is a message left by the deceased. This is that blue badger from before, right? Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. <laughs> Looks like everyone's forgotten this is just a jar. A message was left here on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Yes, but notice, for some reason, the blood on some of the fragments was not wiped away. Yes, there is a line here drawn in blood. So what you're saying is these dots were once lines. Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He has a few precious moments left to him to leave behind a message. One that someone apparently wiped away. But blood must have seeped into the jar where the lines changed directions. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points and the victim's message will become apparent. No. Mr. Wright, what kind of message did the victim leave for us? Your Honor, I believe these blood stains will reveal us, uh, to us the answer. We've got to connect these dots to make letters. There's only one thing that uh, the victim could have uh, would have written, given the circumstances. The murderer's name. Oh, do I really have to, like... Yes. Uh, I think, um, I think you can use motion controls. Oh, uh... Yeah. Well, speed up the process. Oh, you gotta click it. Now, can I go all the way across? No, I can't. Cool. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, okay. I was like, this is... I like... Pretty nifty, huh? Oh, I have to do the... Pretty sneaky, sis. Oh. Yeah, come on. There you go. Do I have to connect this? No. No? Oh, okay. Oh, that could be anything. That could be a C. <laughs> C Ma. <laughs> Take that. FMA. <laughs> her favorite anime. It's a defense attorney's duty to prove his client's innocence. That's all I've been thinking about is saving Lana. After all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out like this. Emma. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. Why would he be so petty, though? Of all people, she may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Skye. You see, Worthy, can't say I didn't warn you. Oh my god. Chief Gant, do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor of the case, were you not? <laughs> Yes, Worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sentenced to death. Not only that, but you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. Objection! Objection! But Joe Dark really was a serial murderer. That's undeniable. I'm afraid that's not important. Didn't you know we aren't defenders of justice? What? We're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light matter. Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence forgery, ultimately the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. 
Despite what anyone may say, this fact cannot be denied. Thought he'd be right, oh, though. <laughs> What's going on in the prosecutor's office? We might have sent an innocent man to his death. How could he just stand there like he wasn't, like it wasn't his fault? Order, 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 yeah! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the gavel's pounding fell on death ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared a recess. Where this trial is headed, no one knows. Oh, oh my god, oh. it's still not done. <laughs> it's still not done. <laughs> Never. Hoo-wee. Oh you know there's another uh, case after this, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, case six. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Edgeworth. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Hm. Don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Oh, uh, awkward. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess I am. I'll come back later. Yeah. I'm gonna have the crow nuts. Oh, oh Detective Gumshoe. What is it? <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve, pal. Making a detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. What the heck? I take it Lana's having you run errands again. Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. Here, she asked me to give this to you if there was a break in today's trial. Evidence law? Edgeworth was, Edgeworth was talking about this just the other day. Yeah, you must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. That rule we've totally been following. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Uh, what should hers be? Can you, what, can you do any cartoon character's voice? Oh, God. Um, I might like suddenly blinking. Is that right, Mr. Wright? There you go. It seems so. <laughs> you can at least study some evidence law, really. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was trying to do Patrick. <laughs> Hey, SpongeBob. Hey, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob. The chief prosecutor before. also wanted me to give you a message. A message? She said uh, if you're planning to take him on, you're gonna need this book. H I M. Him? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll need to give him this book. I guess I'll. Need <laughs> yes, give it to me. <laughs> Righto. Oh, I'll rip it in half. Oh, this would. Oh, this. Oh, this really would have given you the upper hand on me. <laughs> I guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read. And she's like, oh shit. <laughs> Whoa, this would have fucked me. Okay, well, thanks, stupid. Doesn't look like that book will do you any good now, though. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Huh? Haven't you figured it out yet? Why I'm still sitting in that prosecutor's seat? Despite all these allegations being thrown at me? Mr. Edgeworth, the real trial today hasn't begun yet. What? What else is there left to do? Said Angel. Your credibility's <laughs> been all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. And when Sky found out she unwittingly caused a man's death, and now you're telling me you want to do more? There's more to this case? You gotta be kidding me, pal! <laughs> you're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. <laughs> she merely stuck a knife into Sorry, his dead body. Water. <laughs> 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 That means the real killer is still out there. What? And we're going to expose him. No matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. And guess what? We'll bring it to an end. Here. In the future episodes. I don't want to say, I don't want to say tomorrow, because I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. I don't know. This is a case. <laughs> it's a long, 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 long case. This is a long case. Are you going to skip an update tomorrow? No, I'm just saying. I didn't want to guarantee that we were going to... The uh, last, next oh. one will be the last one. Yeah. Oh. I see. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Goodbye.